everyone, and welcome to Empty Nest, Loss or Opportunity, the speaker series for a mom ready to discover who she gets to become now. I'm Jody Silverman, Empty Nest life coach, speaker, and community builder, and your host for this series. I've brought together over 15 experts in all areas of life to offer their best tips and takeaways and resources to support you in finding deeper connections, your purpose and fulfillment, so that you can turn your empty nest into a full and rich life. Today, we have Kathleen Rafter in the house. Kathy is a certified life coach and EFT practitioner who helps people to realize their purpose, set intentions, release their fears, and create their ideal lifestyle. She focuses on helping her clients to create inner peace helping them to dissolve their resistance to life and develop greater abundance through using tools such as feng shui. Welcome, Kathy. Hello, Jody. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's wonderful to be here. And hello to all your viewers, to all the empty nesters out there. Yes, this is exciting. I, I'm excited to share you and your expertise with the group because I have been dipping my hands further into feng shui and how to use it. And um, before we get into our topic of how we can actually use feng shui to enhance our lifestyle and to help our relationships, share a little bit of the backstory. So how did your journey get you to where you are today? You know, we were having some issues here at home. We had a, a son who was in middle school and I was looking for any way to just change the atmosphere in our home. And I happened upon Marie Diamond, who is a feng shui master. She happens to be my personal mentor. And um, I saw her through the secret and I just thought, wow. And it was a night where my husband was out of town and I was just able to stay up all night studying. And I just immersed myself and I saw big changes in our home, big changes in our son. And, you know, it's just been history, you know, from there on out. So it's been a wonderful yeah. experience. You know, I, I love when something hits you like that. It's like, it's like a lightning strike moment. One of my other speakers calls it a lightning strike moment. Um, when you just, something just resonates so deeply, I just briefly, I'll share, I don't even think I shared this with you years ago, I invited a decorator over to help me just pick colors. I wanted to repaint my house and she, not only did she help me choose colors, she helped me move things she's around my home in different spaces. She commented that I have beautiful items, a mirror, a vase whatever it might be, but she felt they could be in a better location to balance my energy. And that was my first introduction. And as a result, Kathy, she helped me redo one room in particular, my living room. That room became this place where every time I either walked by it or stepped into it, I felt this, like the energy just calm. And my children were home at that time. And they started hanging out in it and they started to call it the talking room because there was no TV. <laughs> And I would find my son take a nap in there or read a book. So I understand how shifting something in your home can really change your whole energy. People don't realize, Jody, how much interaction we have with our environment. Mm. You know, we know we've got a spiritual life. We know we've got, you know, um, that how we think and how we feel, you know, affects our lives, but they don't realize how much our environment actually, it actually affects one third of our law of attraction. Yeah. So that's, I mean, and that's why you felt the way you did. The, you're the person that you brought in, the interior designer knew energy and she knew you and she knew how to go through and read and change that. So that's the benefit of practicing yeah. function. It, it was very impactful. So let, let's, let's demystify this for people because I think there's a lot of people in the audience that might say feng shui. I have no idea. It's, it sounds intimidating. It sounds scary. So you share, you shared with me that it's, it's really easy to learn and use. So talk a little bit about what it is, and then we'll get into how we can use it to improve our relationships, which is what all moms are looking to do with their adult children. So Feng Shui started 4,000 BC, and it did start in China. The seers saw that they could bring balance into a home by bringing all the outside elements. The earth is balanced. Right now with everything that we're going through is trying to rebalance itself. But back in those days, the earth was balanced. And by bringing those elements in the home, you could balance what was going on in the home. So by placing things, furniture, using different colors, you know, as your interior decorator did, you can go through and change 
that energy in your home to make it more peaceful, to make it more joyful. When you go through, and there are two levels of mind. One is beta, which tends to go, it, it leads us into a more worrisome, more fearful, more anxious type of a mindset. Or we can go into alpha. And when you've got the proper energy in your home, and this is what your designer did, she brought that alpha level to your home. And that's why you felt better. Even your children who didn't realize what was going on felt better. It was the talking room, you know, it became more loving and uh, wow. you know, that type of situation. It, it did. And when you say that, I think like when I would see my, my son go, go come out of his room, a teenager would leave his room, mm -hmm. unheard of, sure. and sit on the sofa down there to read and then just hang out and ha have a nap then because he felt, he felt that and he didn't understand what it was either, but he knew the room just felt better. So I love that. So, and it's easy. It's, it's relatively easy. It's just like anything, you know, you read about it, learn about it, and then try a little bit at a time. There are certain things that you can do. Um, color is a big part of um, feng shui that a lot of people don't realize. If you want to bring more peace into your home, peace into the world these days, the color to bring in is magenta, which is the deeper tone in my um, turtleneck here. If you want to bring more peace or more joy into your home, say you, you get up and you feel you know a little bit sad, your, your son or your daughter has left home, you can bring peach into your home. Peach for joy. Peach okay. For joy. If you want to go through and bring a little bit more loving feeling, the color would be rose, which is the lighter tone here. If you wanted to bring in fuchsia, it's the color of the, the pullover there you're wearing right now. If you want a little bit more collaboration in the house, you bring fuchsia. If you need a little bit more TLC, when I need a little bit more TLC, I'll bring in a very light pink color. Mm. And so we can bring those into our home. If we feel we need a little bit more empowerment, maybe we feel that we've got to go through and we've got to, um, now that we have an empty nest, we have to go through and you know, start a new chapter for ourselves. We can bring in the color blue. Okay. Okay, I, lo I, I, love, I love the idea of color. And there's also something about a personal energy number. Yes, there is, um, based on our birthday and our gender at birth, we all have a personal energy number. And with that personal energy number, we can determine we all have four best directions. We have four best directions and four not so good directions. You can go into um, mariediamond.com and with that gender at birth and with your birthday, you can go through and get a personal energy report. Oh. And you can find out what, those, what your personal energy number is. For instance, um, my personal energy number is two. So I know right now as we're talking, so we have a very successful interview, I'm going through and I'm facing my success direction, which is Northeast. Um, when we, when our son was in middle school and he was having some issues, one thing that I learned from Marie is that I could take one of his photos and put it in his success direction, which is east. So I put his photo as a you know, eight, eight and a half by 11 school photo in his success direction here in our living room. And it changed everything. He wasn't being bullied. He started to go through and to change his whole personality. And it was, it was really amazing. So those things can be done too. You, you had shared that with me. And, um, and also I wanna say, yes, you can go calculate it Marie Diamond, but they can also, you know, with the, with the links below, contact you directed. And I know that you can absolutely help people identify what their personal energy number is, their direction. It's interesting you shared that part about, me, about putting a photo of your child in their success direction it, within your home. And, and I've done that for both my children. And um, I'm, I'm, I walk by it every day and, and, I, and I look at it and I'm like, the, the universe has our back. The universe has their back. And, and it made me feel empowered while I'm so, while I can't, I can't control what, my, what happens to my children. They can only do it. But that gave me a feeling that I was sending good energy to them. So what are some, you have really, really wonderful ways uh, through your work that we as parents can affect change or uh, decrease our worry by taking action 
through feng shui to help affect change out there for our children, staying connected with them. And one of the ways you do, you talk about activating a candle. And I thought that was very interesting. It's a wonderful thing. I do this um, when I go and visit somebody, you know, as a hostess gift or as a birthday gift. And what you can do is um, just get into a meditative state. And what I do is I send some white to the candle just to get rid of any fabrication, you know, um, negative energy from that, from the handling and so on. And I decide what I want to imbue into the candle. Let's say um, you have uh, an adult son or daughter who's maybe going through an interview for the first time. And you could go through and get the color for that success is blue, a royal blue, a French blue color. And you can just, you know, go through and meditate in your mind, um, just cleanse the candle with white light. White is always um, cleansing, purifying. And then just hold your hands over the top and the bottom. You're not, you know, it's not lit. It's a brand new candle. And you can just imbue if it's for success, you can close your eyes and just think that you're imbuing the success that they're going to have success during that interview. I love that. And, and then you can go through and you know wrap it up maybe in some nice tissue, put a little tag, this is for success in your interview. You could do that if you have a college student who maybe isn't feeling well going through, that would be the green color, an emerald green. You could use yellow if somebody is going through finals. Yellow is the color for wisdom. Oh, okay. Or maybe That's somebody a had a, a breakup with someone, you know, and you want to send love to them or TLC to them. You could send pink or you could send rose. I, I love, I love that. It's a beautiful gift to receive and a beautiful sentiment. And it's something that you do. And regardless, I mean, how I can't imagine somebody not accepting that and saying, oh, yes, I'll take that energy. I, I love that. I've never heard of that before. And I'm going to adopt that. Um, for, for gifts, for not only my children, but for friends. I think it's a beautiful idea. Um, so we have placing a photo of them in their success direction. There's also, if you're struggling with feeling disconnected or your relationship might be a little bit challenged with an adult child, um, whether it's just because they're away. And you know when they do go out into the world, they struggle too. They push us away because they have to. They have to find their independence. They have to make their own decisions. It's not about not needing us or wanting our opinions. There comes a time where they have to say, I can't ask my mom. I need to do this on my own. But a lot of us internalize it like, why are they pushing me away? They don't need me anymore. And, and what, what is something that we can do to help us as moms feel like we can make our relationship still feel connected and, and important and valid. What we, what we tend to forget about is that we can connect at that energetic level. It will make you feel better. It will make them feel better. So what, um, you know, what I've done is gone through and taken a photo of myself. Say it's, um, if you have a son or a daughter, take a photo that you have of you and of them and put it together in your relationship direction, again, in your living room. And depending on what you might want to say, say you haven't been hearing from them and you want to hear from them, you could take um, maybe a ribbon, the color of your pullover, your sweater, a fuchsia, and put that ribbon around there to bring more collaboration so that they will be in touch with you. If maybe if something happened, you had an argument, you could take the color rose, and you know, put a rose ribbon around it, or if it's a, a picture on the wall, you could take a scarf and put the scarf, you know, around the frame of the picture. I love all and these. It it really makes a difference. And you know, you can wave at those pictures. I've done that before. When I wanted to meet Marie Diamond, my mentor, I had a picture of her. There were two different pictures, myself and Marie, but I put them together. And every time I came and I saw the picture, I said hello. Love that. And there was a time when she came to, um, I'm in West Michigan, I'm a native of Chicago, and she came to Chicago two times in one year. I thought I'd have to go to Europe to meet her. I mean, it was just amazing. And it was because I had put the pictures together. I had waved to her, hello, Marie, how are you today? You know, and you can go through and do that. And 
and you don't have to do anything physically. You don't have to do anything talking to the, uh, you know, to your adult, adult um, son or daughter, but just go through and do that. They'll feel it and it will make a difference with the relationship. Yeah, and you'll feel the peace. You'll feel the energy shift within you. And it does go out because everything is energy. Everything is that our thoughts are energy, our words are energy, our actions are energy. And I just wrote down the name of two women who I'm going to do that, that I really want to meet. And I am going to do what you did. Thank you for that. I love, love, love that. This is, this is all new to me. I mean, I, like I said, I'm just starting to learn more about my personal energy number, my directions. I've moved and shifted things within my home office to face my success direction in my office. And um, I feel the shift in myself. Things are flowing better mm -hmm. and things are happening, but things are pretty, and I want to share with everybody, you it still requires if it's success in a business or it, it takes action, but you shift the energy and it flows more freely. That's what it does. That's what it does. So I, 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 I'm so grateful for this conversation. And I do believe that the tips that you provided, a lot of moms are going to find comfort in taking some of this action because we can feel a little bit helpless going from full-time day-to-day parenting to watching from afar knowing we must let them go and figure out how to, how to handle that for ourselves. So I thank you for this conversation, Kathy. You're welcome, Jody. And everybody below, you'll not only find links on how you can find more about what, what Kathleen does, because you also do EFT work, which is energy yeah. work as well. Yeah. And so the website and anywhere they can find you, but there's also a link for you. It's a very generous gift to grab a free discovery session with Kathy. So Kathy, why don't you share with the audience, what would a discovery session entail or could it entail for one of our audience members when they click there? Why, why would they want to do that? You know, they're great sessions. We can get together. You know, it's a free session and I can help you go through. And when somebody leaves the home, there's going to be a change in energy. So I can help you to balance that energy. I guess give you some, you know, simple ideas. Um, won't, um, you know, they will be very inexpensive and so on. Then I can help you go through and to relieve any worries that you have. And, um, you know, you might be worried about your adult son or daughter leaving. You might be worried about what's next for you and not sure what's going to, you know, what's next for you. So I can help you settle that. And then I can help you to, as you were saying before, to carry on that relationship, to keep it vibrant, to keep it, you know, moving along. And then maybe, you want to have some ideas for yourself and what's next for you and what the next steps would be and how you could advance that way. So I could help you, you know, in just maybe 45 minutes go through and get started with that. I love that. And, and everybody out there watching, I, I, I strongly encourage you to take advantage and, and grab all the free gifts and resources that all the speakers are, are offering you because they're valuable. These are super valuable gifts. And a discovery session where you get to talk one-on-one -on -one with Kathy can create a huge shift in your energy. So remember, ladies, the purpose of this series is for you to learn something from each one of our speakers. Did you learn something today? I know you did. So let us know. Come over to the Mom Studio Facebook group. Share an aha moment. Share a big takeaway. What was something new that you learned about feng shui that you maybe you know, didn't know before, tag myself, tag Kathy, we will respond. And as I, and, and don't forget, oh, see, stuttering right there. Don't forget to check your email tomorrow for the next round of speakers that will open up tomorrow for you. Grab your discovery session, tune in tomorrow, come to the group, say hi. And as I always say, dare on.